Refreshable materialized views were just made production ready in ClickHouse 24.10. So what are they and why would you use them? Let's find out in this video. They're similar to materialized views in traditional OLTP databases, storing the result of a specified query for quick retrieval later. So if we look on this diagram here, we've got our source tables over on the left-hand side. We've got our refreshable materialized view in the middle and that basically creates us a scheduled query which can contain joins if we like. And the results are then written into a table in ClickHouse which can then be queried via our analytical queries. So we'd use them instead of an incremental materialized view if we want to regularly perform a complete recomputation of a view over a whole data set perhaps because it has a complex join. Refreshable materialized views are also useful for caching results at a certain point in time. We're going to have a look at how to use them with help from the IMDB dataset in the documentation. So let's start by checking our current database. So you can see it's IMDB. We can then list the tables. So you see we've got actors, directors, genres, movie directors, movies, and roles. I'm going to paste in this query here that creates a summary of an actor's career effectively and you can see it comes back so you have the name of the actor the number of movies the average rank the number of unique genres the directors and then the last updated time and let it, you saw it ran pretty quickly but let's say it's not quick enough for us so we want to try and make it faster so we're going to create a refreshable materialized view so the first thing we need to do is create ourselves a table with each of the fields that we need and then we're going to create a materialized view we're going to say that it will refresh every one hour into that table and then we're going to paste in the actors summary query making sure that we delete the limit that we had on there and now we can write a query against our actor summary table and you can see it comes back with exactly the same results as we had before if we want to see what's going on with our refreshable materialized views we can write a query against the system table called view refreshes and you can see it comes back in this case with the name of the database we've got the view the status so scheduled means it's running last success time last refresh time and note the next refresh time so we set it to be every hour and so it goes on the hour so the previous time is 12:43 because it ran as we created it but then it's on the hour so it'll be one o'clock then it'll be two o'clock and three o'clock and so on and then you can also see the number of rows that were read and the number that were written Let's say we want to change that refresh rate to be every two minutes. We can do that with this query. And then if we run our system table query again, you can now see that the next refresh time is set to be 1246 instead of one o'clock. We can also choose to stop a view. And again, let's have a look at the system table and you can see now it's set to disable. So it's not going to be refreshing the data. And then if we start it again, we can then see it's now scheduled. Let's add an extra actor called ClickHouse and we'll give that actor some roles. And then we're gonna refresh the view manually instead of waiting until the next time. And you can see now, if we do our actor summary query again, the ClickHouse user is at the top. Another cool thing that we can do is depends on. So we can create dependencies between refreshable materialized views. And the idea here is that we can create a chain between the views. So for example, if materialized view A depends on materialized view B, A's refresh will only happen after B's has finished. Let's create ourselves a table called actor rank with the same fields as before. And then we're going to create ourselves a materialized view refreshing every one minute. And we've got this extra clause depends on imdb.actor summary MV. So that was the previous one. And this time we're going to be writing into IMDB actor rank and then we'll run the query to find actors who have been in more than 10 movies and we'll order it by the average rank, getting five. We can then check in our view refreshes table. So you can see the next refresh time for actor rank MV is 1247. The next refresh time for actor summary MV is 1248. So the 1247 refresh of actor rank is kind of pointless because it's going to run and it's going to have like the old data of actor summary because that's not going to run again until 1248. But when that 1248 run happens for actor summary, it's then going to run the actor rank one just afterwards because I remember actor rank is refreshing every minute, actor summary is refreshing every two minutes. We can then write a query against the actor rank table and these are now the, these are the top ranking actors. Let's add in another actor. So this one's going to be called Clickbench. We'll give them some high ranking movies. 
and then we're going to paste in this query here that polls the view refreshes system table every three seconds. You can see it kind of going through and we need to wait about 32 seconds, isn't it, until the next refresh at 12.48. So we'll speed that up a little bit and we'll kill the that query and then we'll find our select query again and run it. And now you can see that click bench is in there at the top. Finally, let's learn about the append clause. So this time, when the view runs, it will append new rows into the underlying table instead of replacing everything. So this time our table is going to be actor rank over time, and then we'll only have the ID, the name, the average rank, and then the as of time when the refreshable materialized view run. Again, we'll create ourselves a materialized view, refreshing every minute, depending on this time actor rank. And then we'll write ourselves a query that finds the just the top ranking actor based on uh, average rank. Let's now write a query against our new table and you can see that as of 1252, ClickBench is our highest ranked actor. Let's now add in another actor. So we'll call this one ClickHouse Local and we're gonna give ClickHouse Local even higher ranked movies. Let's go back and find our select query and run that. So you can see it's still coming up with ClickBench at 1252. So we're gonna to have to wait just under two minutes for our new data to be picked up. So i.e. we need the uh, actor summary table to be refreshed. So we'll skip forward to then and run the query again. And there you can see ClickHouse Local is now the top one at 1254. And in between this and the previous time we ran the query, we've also got the 1253 entry, which still had ClickBench. So that's refreshable materialized views, but incremental materialized views are still cool as well. So check out this video to learn more about them.